Good afternoon, everyone. And I want to just welcome everyone to this fantastic event. Oops, a little forward, but too fast there. So I'm super glad you were able to join us today uh, to hear from five amazing entities in the San Antonio area whose business involves reuse. So in a normal year, uh, this event would have taken place over like a day and a half time frame. We get a bus, we get a hotel, we have networking events and panelist lunches. Uh, we get to stop by each of the businesses and check out their operations and see all of the, you know, everything in action. Uh, but since 2020 has decided to be, you know, that year, uh, we kind of just um, had to go ahead and morph this into a 90 minute virtual session. So uh, it is still packed with great speakers and information. And just uh, to let everyone know what's uh, who's talking right now, I'm Jordan Fendel and I am the executive director of the State of Texas Alliance for Recycling, also known as STAR. And our mission is to advance recycling through in Texas through uh, education, partnerships, and advocacy. And we thank you for us uh, for helping us work towards our mission. So our next presenter, if I can actually get the slides to work, is Angelica Cluna with Goodwill San Antonio. With almost 30 years experience in the consumer electronics industry and startup operations, Angelica manages Goodwill San Antonio's electronic program, providing professional services such as e-waste management, IT asset dis disposition, data center decommissioning, and community-based technolo technology access program, or TAP. Each of these components are designed to fulfill our customer needs while increasing or advancing the mission of Goodwill San Antonio, which is helping change lives through the power of work. Prior to go joining Goodwill, Angelica pioneered wireless device reuse as one of the first resellers of paging in 1991 and data sanitization through flash media destruction to the size of less than a quarter of an inch in 2008. She has a Bachelor of Business and Administration with a major in international business from Texas A&M University in San Antonio and actively participates in STAR and the San Antonio Digital Inclusion Alliance. With that, I will turn it over to Angelica. All right, Jordan, I was having so much fun listening to you, I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> um, all right, everybody. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about Goodwill San Antonio, and we, we titled our presentation Opportunities for Second Chances because um, truly the, the whole idea of reuse and keeping viable something that that um, may have reached its its end of usefulness for one person but could be useful for somebody else is really at the core of Goodwill's mission. Um, our mission services and helping people to you know, start over, get a new job, or find an opportunity or advance their career are almost like the second chances that we give to all of the donated goods and all of the materials we manage through our business services lines. So uh, next slide. A little bit about Goodwill San Antonio. Um, our mission, like I said, is to help change lives through the power of work. Um, we defined a purpose for us to give us a little bit more um, uh, impact on our mission and we really wanted it to stand out and be at the heart of what we do and our purpose is fighting poverty and creating opportunity. Uh, we all stand by our core values of service, teamwork, ethics, passion, and safety. And then our structure, so, how you, so you can understand how Goodwill San Antonio works, is we have three arms to our business. We have our donated goods retail stores, which most people are familiar with. We have our business service lines, which are um, outsourced business services. And then we have our workforce development, which is uh, in the community, developing careers and finding jobs and career pathways and removing barriers for people to, uh, to attain their, their highest level of economic viability. Next slide. So our mission impact in 2019, how we were fighting poverty and creating opportunity, is is on this slide, and it's a little bit um, it's a little bit diverse because we're a little bit diverse. So we do that through a lot of different ways, um, starting with our repurposing of goods. So our retail stores uh, have have sold in, in 2019, in one year, 18.4 million items. That's 18.4 million items 
being used by somebody else again, not items that are winding up in a landfill or being recycled into a commodity, but, but someone's taking them home and continuing their usefulness. Um, in addition to that, 3,188 computers uh, were repurposed in 2019 through our electronics program. And then the 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 side of that 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 that's real meaningful on our mission is how we advance the careers and how we give people the 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 tools they need to keep growing. And one of those is upskilling our team members. So uh, 270 of our Goodwill team members. Uh, have been trained in 21st century skills. So those include things like resiliency and, um, oh goodness, sorry, <laughs> resiliency and the um, the soft skills like customer service and empathy and those types of skills that people really need to be successful in the 21st century. Um, we also have a career advancement arm. So that's working with students uh, both adults and um, and and K through 12 students to offer vocational training programs. Goodwill offers certificate-based programs for in-demand careers, such as commercial driver's license, dental uh, dental assistant, nurses aide, those types of careers that that a certificate lets you start, or or a license in the case of a CDL lets you start, and then you can advance into a full career uh, down a different pathway. Uh, we also provide the job placement, so our career centers serve the community. They're open and free, and uh, just to measure who we're serving, about 39% of the people we serve live under the poverty line, and about 40% of them have been unemployed for more than six months. That's really our target population. If we can help uh, fight poverty by addressing the people who are in the most need, we're going to create a larger opportunity all the way around. Um, and as part of that opportunity, the wraparound support is really important. Um, when you when you have um, somebody who's been unemployed for more than six months or lives below the poverty line, there are larger barriers to working than just getting the job. Getting the job is important, but being able to keep the job by um, you know learning the skills of arriving to work on time and managing your uh, emotions and and even just help with how to stabilize your your home situation, your housing situation, your transportation situation. So our wraparound support is available to all of our team members. And um, in 2019, we were able to provide, to provide over 800 of our team members with this life skills coaching. And then over 1,885 at-risk youth were offered this wraparound support also in the community. Um, so lastly, our business services line, that's where we outsource uh, business services. These are competitive services. So if you could uh, imagine any service a business would need from an outsourced call center to document management to landscaping or facilities management um, or uh, IT asset disposition <laughs> or electronics recycling, that, that line of business seeks to employ people and help people who have disabilities or other barriers to employment. And we currently employ 81% of our staff uh, have these significant disabilities. And our average wage there is um, $15.80. And next slide, please. So a little bit more into each of these uh, areas, the three areas we have, the donated goods and retail operation. We run 23 stores in Bear, Comal, Guadalupe, Kerr, and Webb counties. Like I said, 18.4 donated items were sold, 18.4 uh, million. And then we also sell online. So it's a, a, critical, a critical location now, as you can imagine, to be able to go and purchase online with the COVID. Uh, 94,800 items were sold online through our uh, Shop Goodwill SA online .com portal in 2019. Uh, we promote reuse and sustainability through social media and some blogger partnerships. If you're not following Goodwill San Antonio on Instagram or um, or Facebook, you're missing out on some really exciting things we're doing with uh, with sustainable fashion, fashion shows, the bloggers who write about all the great finds they they locate and how they how they decorate their homes and how they uh, address different needs through reusing the items they get at Goodwill stores. Next slide. 
So one of those ways that we talked a lot about is the sustainable fashion. So it's really important and it's a it's it's something we've seen become more commonplace even in the industry right now that people are looking at ways to repurpose clothing and jewelry and furniture uh as a as a sustainability practice not just as a thrifty or an economical practice but because they want to make a difference in uh, what our what our circular economy looks like, right? That things don't end when you're done with them, but that someone else can keep using them. So Goodwill San Antonio has taken on promoting the sustainable fashion and finding innovative ways to do that. Um, and so we run the fashion shows with some local colleges and high schools and other community organizations that we partner with to to talk about fashion. But we've also done some real neat things with specific what we call destination stores. So when you're going to a thrift store, you may not always find what you're looking for, but Goodwill San Antonio wants to help you do that. So we have designed specific stores. We have a new store, which we call our furniture and bicycle store. So over on West Commerce, you can go in and there there is furniture set up in all different kinds of place settings for living rooms and dining rooms and bookcases and offices, and then you go in the back and there are a ton of bicycles. I, I went there right after we reopened from COVID and there were so many people looking at those bicycles. So it's a great place to know, hey, if I wanna look for a furniture or a bicycle, I can go to this one store and find it, right? Um, I think there are efforts also to create a formal wear, um, a formal wear store up on Blanco and 410. I know they're seeing a lot of our formal wear. I don't know if they promoted it that way yet, but I think you'll start to see that uh, in the next couple couple months. Uh, and then, of course, we have our destination store, which is our electronic store for all of the refurbished computers. Um, but we can move to the next slide. So that takes you to the electronics program. It's a part of our business services line. We do offer commercial business services that are competitive uh, against, uh, against for-profit companies, right? So we go out and we do e-waste management, data center decommissioning, and IT asset disposition for organizations and uh, government entities to help them meet their needs. Uh, to give you a little bit more understanding of what that looks like, e-waste management is about taking the the used electronics that really don't have a reuse value and making sure they don't wind up in the landfill. So typically that type of service is working with an industrial customer or a municipality who's doing collection for, from their residents and those items have been sitting in sheds for 20 years and there's just not a lot of opportunities to reuse that equipment. Uh, but however, data center decommissioning and IT asset disposition generate some of the, the best reusable equipment. So as you can imagine, data centers have to stay up to date, especially with the new cloud services and the things that are going on, that there's a, a, a set refresh schedule that must be met and that equipment must be shifted out. But that allows for good, reusable, young equipment to be put back into our marketplace for individuals to try setting up home labs or small businesses to set their first data center. Um, lots of exciting opportunities there. And those are two of our great team members who were out at a project we did for Bear County to help them um, with their data center decommissioning. And then IT asset disposition is about managing those end user pieces of equipment. So in every office, you'll find somebody who has a desktop computer on their desk and the IT company comes and changes that out every three to five years. So at the end of the life cycle for an enterprise organization, uh, we will go in and help them manage the data on those devices and then take those devices and be able to refurbish them um, and put them back into our community. So, we have put a lot of effort into this program, invested a lot into it to be competitive and to use the uh, donations and the equipment we get to help support our community. Uh, so as you can see down at the bottom, we are competitive uh, against commercial recyclers and that we've gone and gotten our certifications for ISO uh, 9001, 14001 the R2 certification for electronics recycling and the uh, OSAS 18001 certification. In addition to that, um, in last year, the beginning of last year, we were awarded the City of San Antonio's Reworks certification, and that's what that little gold logo is there. Next slide. 
So how we repurpose the devices, we have a couple of uh, a, a couple of exciting ways. One is through our technology access program, which I'll talk a little bit about. But most importantly, people want to be able to come into a store and look at electronics and touch them and feel them and make sure they understand them before they purchase them. So we have a small electronic store uh, in our warehouse right on the other side of where our technicians are doing the ITAD work. So they're they're qualified technicians who can answer questions for customers and help them understand the products they're buying. So you can see a picture of that there. And we are a Microsoft registered refurbisher, which means when we're refurbishing, we're putting Microsoft original licenses back on those computers and getting them out the door at very affordable prices. Um, due to COVID, we did have to shift a little bit. Our store was closed for just a, 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 about six weeks. And in that time frame, we found there was still a huge demand for people to be able to get refurbished uh, laptops, desktops computers that they could use for distance learning or work from home and, and those parts and accessories they needed like monitors and keyboards and mice and, and cables. So uh, we moved our inventory of refurbished equipment online so anybody can take a look at it at goodwillsa.com slash electronics. And we actually have a virtual ordering format you can use so you can view the inventory online, email us what you want to purchase, and then we can create the order send you an invoice through email, you can pay it, and you can do a curbless or a contactless curbside pickup that we schedule. You drive up, text us you're, you're here, we bring out your order, and you're good to go. So you never have to come in the store at all. Next slide. So what really drove and what, what's critical about our electronics program is how we can make a difference in the in the community through the use of this technology. So in 2016, we started what's called our technology access program. And back then it wasn't even a formal name of a technology access program. It was helping the San Antonio Housing Authority uh, get devices into the hands of some of their residents who had no, no, no knowledge of how to use a computer, um, along with some computer literacy training and some internet access so they could start to, to break the cycle of poverty. So we started that program in 2016, uh, and we've, we've been able to grow it over the last four years. This year, we have a pretty significant goal. Our goal is to do um, almost 1,430 devices this year alone through this program. And um, just as circumstances have it, uh, COVID has really exemplified this need in our community. So uh, we are working every month to provide more devices to um, to those residents who who currently don't have any access or or the ability to go out and purchase computers on their own. Next slide. So through our business service line, I talked a little bit about the things we do through business services, but most people not may not know that we also have reuse opportunities through our landscaping and grounds maintenance. So. Goodwill San Antonio has a large project where we manage the grounds at, at the military bases here in town. And at one of those uh, bases, there was a project that wanted us to remove gravel and put, put in, put in uh, sod, put in grass for them. And rather than taking that gravel and hauling it off to the, um, to the dump or to a landfill, uh, we offered it to our team members. So Goodwill took the effort to take that 600 cubic yards of gravel and offer it up to our team members uh, and deliver it to them just for the price of delivery. So it was a truckload for um, for roughly $10, the, the cost for those. So we sold all 600 cubic yards. They all went into team members' driveways or backyards or gardens so that that could be reused rather than uh, put into the landfill. And then we have a tree service line where we go and we, we trim trees or we uh, dispose of the downed trees from weather and those types of items. And we annually send about 240,000 pounds uh, to mulching to get that back in as a, as a reusable source of, um, or a reusable resource. Next slide. That's it. So that's kind of what Goodwill San Antonio does on the reuse side. Um, I could talk reuse forever. It's my passion. So if any of you guys want to uh, reach out or connect with me, all my contact information is there.